Hey guys, uh, it's my first video after my trip. Um, thanks for all of your comments to say that I should continue making videos because like the view has been going down recently for the past few videos. Probably everybody is too busy playing Pokemon Go. I mean, I do play but not all the time. Yeah, I went to drink this morning. Now it's 3... 25. I just cooked myself some rice cake, Korean rice cake. So this is what it is. Um, there are like onion, veggie, scallion. I'm not sure if it's called scallion, but a mushroom. Yeah, several types of mushroom. And also we have some, I made some macaroni in the afternoon and there were leftovers. So I thought I could make a macaroni salad today. So this is what I made. Um, I didn't mix this up because I know this will stain the rest. This one the macaroni, some egg, peaches, uh, fruit, fruit cocktail, some sesame seeds, prawn, and some crab meat. And there's the oranges because I don't think they will like it inside too. Oh, yeah, there's ham and corn inside this bottom part. So, um, I want to update you guys on how I have been because of this eating disorder. I'm really, really scared of like losing my hair because the, the most horrible and the scariest side effect of anorexia and malnutrition is hair loss. And the last time around, I lost a lot of hair. And it took really long to regrow, that, regrow it. So this time I'm trying to take some precaution. I know that it doesn't help to all the extent, like not as much as if I were to eat the food, but you know, I still take vitamins and all that. Let me show you what I take in the morning and at night. This is not mine. This is vitamin uh, B. Um, I heard that B6 and B12, they help you with a, a lot with energy and metabolism. Uh, I just take two, one in the morning and one at night. Biotin, I take it uh, one at night. And then this one I take in the morning, which is zinc. Um, and this one for let see it is something that my doctor had always given me. But uh, I saw this on sale and I told her that I have it on my own. So I take one folic acid and then this one I take two. This is uh, thiamine. And then this is another one which is multivitamin mineral. Sometimes I don't take this because the iron just makes me really, really nauseous. I'm back in my room. This is a summer day, but you see me wearing long sleeve and stuff. First is because I don't want to get tanned and second is because you know it's easier to dress like this because I'm like bony more and more bony like a part of me tells me like you're getting too thin but then another part of me is like look at you you're so fat you didn't lose any weight I mean when I look at my leg I still feel like I want to lose more weight I still kind of fat um actually the f the pants doesn't use to feed us the way it does i mean this is a new pan so but then um like i can see my heat bones and i can see my grapes and all that actually it's pretty obvious um yeah this is more obvious um if you saw my instagram um you have seen like some of the more exposed pictures uh and one of them i got reported for it so I took it down because it was too revealing and people reported me for eating disorder. The difficult part right now is like weight loss wise is really really slow. It's almost like I feel like I gain weight so easily. I could be like 0.5 kg lighter on one day and then the next day I would gain back that 0.5 which makes me feel horrible because it's like how come did I eat too much yesterday? How come I still gain the weight? My mind doesn't set me a limit like when you reach a certain kg you'll be fine. It doesn't work that way. It just makes you want to lose weight all the time. Even 
zero is is not the limit. <laughs> and I'm like, I really want to let Yidi take over me in some way. This time, this is the third relapse actually, because I reached a point where I can't draw myself out and I can't gain the weight on my own. Sometimes I get really really tired. I lie on my bed. And then I still get up to go and binge. You know, I wish, I wish I'm those people. It, this is this is not a right wish, but then I wish I'm those people who can stuff themselves all day or restrict the entire day. Oh, I bought a new anklet. This is so pretty. It's glittery and and there is a feather at the end. I got myself several anklet. And I've been wearing like uh, those rope kind of brace bracelet. It's tight. My doctor is watching me so closely right now. She wants to see me like once a week. Okay? She weighs me and and then I cheated. I mean of course I cheated on a scale because I can't let her know my real weight. She wants me to go into hospital already at this cheating weight. So she was like you drank too much water before you weigh. I'm sure you cheated. Well, I didn't really want to talk to her and I don't want any intervention. But I know it will come to a point whereby she will intervene and, and I don't know what's going to happen. Basically, you know, when you talk to a doctor, they have the computer screen facing them. So then I, I don't know what she typed inside. I know, I know sometimes she typed things. And then this Thursday, I just happened to have my first psychologist appointment at the clinic and this guy he had it open in front of me so in the beginning of the session i was talking relating to everything that happened in the past like we talked for one hour but he didn't have enough time to talk more so what happened was he started like asking me about like what, what do you want to get out of therapy and he was talking about uh one path and then another path Oh, the knock starting to attract me. So I lean forward to the table, pretending that I was listening to him. And then I read what my doctor wrote. Uh, what's my weight and what's my BMI? And the next line was like, drank a lot of water before body weight taking. Well, back then at the appointment when she told me, when she asked me about it, I said no, I did not drink a lot of water. I drank like 500 ml, that's all, and I cheated using other ways, but she typed in that and I like, and I'm so mad at her because that's what she always always do, like every time she has some idea in her head and I denied it, she would be like, I don't care, I'm just gonna type that in or I'm gonna write that in. So there were time in the past I'd be like, since you know the answer from the text, but why do you bother to ask me? There isn't much point talking to her. Especially if she thinks that I'm like mentally unstable or unwell. She doesn't believe my words. You know, like when I type those kind of notes, it goes against my case. Like let's say if I refuse treatment and they she has to apply to the court, she has to section me and it would be up to the judge to decide and when the judge read her notes you see judge are very biased i study law i know what they do and i went through like my own personal police issues they the authority look at what they think they can trust they look at the doctor's note they look at the police note they don't listen to the person uh, suffering like they they my my opinion even if I get to talk to the judge will not weigh as heavy as a doctor's note. I will be untrustworthy because I cheat my weight. Obviously in the pa on the paper I have a low BMI and like all those things. You know I used to see my CP like twice a week. She's only for a total of. 12, 10 to 12 days. I mean, if you include Saturday and Sunday, then it's 12 days. Then I'm not sure if I'll be able to see her like the the coming thurs the next coming Thursday. So next Wednesday, I will see my doctor. Hopefully, she's not going to do anything. Like one part of me, I, w I really want to lose weight. 
But then it will mean cheating more at the at the clinic because right now she let me be. She still let me be, but I think if my weight drop again, then she won't because in the trip on the trip itself, I lost two kg. Sorry about the number of triggers. Uh, uh, and now it's like one point five two kg, but but I managed to. But she knows my doctor knows that I lost weight because I look a bit different. But if it drops again, she may do something, which I'm really really scared. But if I can escape next Wednesday, then I should be able to see my counselor the coming Thursday. Not next Thursday, but the Thursday after next. So anyway, uh, this is all the update so far. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your comments. I'm sorry that I haven't got back to some of you guys on the trip videos because either I'm lazy or... Okay, just let it be that I'm lazy. I'm sorry about it. Uh, I'll try to reply them because I usually do uh, a mess of replying. Like instead of just looking at one by one, I just do the entire video reply. Yep, so thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry this is such a long video. Thumbs up if you like this video. And let me know if you want me to talk about anything. Okay. So see you guys next time. Bye!